10 Best Places to Visit in Burundi Hello Displorers, welcome to another exciting video presented to you by Displo and thanks for watching. In this video we shall be taking you to East Africa to show you the top 10 best places to visit in Burundi. Burundi is a landlocked country located in the Great Rift Valley where the Afghan Lakes region and East Africa converge. Burundi may be one of the smallest countries in mainland Africa but it is packed with stunning natural locations which are worth every tourist time. The country is divided into 16 provinces which cover an area of just over 28,000 square kilometers with so much cultural diversity than most countries in Africa including colonial influences from colonial settlers as well as the aboriginal cultures which are very fascinating. If you are new here, welcome, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. From flora to fauna, natural beaches and forests abundance, Burundi is made up of so many sites and water borders which are every traveler's dream. Besides the culture and ethnicity of Burundi that is always talked about, here are 10 best places to visit in Burundi. Number 1. Bujumbura Starting off the list of 10 best places to visit in Burundi is one of its French influenced cities, Bujumbura. Bujumbura is known for the history of French and colonial settlements that this city holds. This city has a greater impact on the French culture and you are sure to find the best French cuisine here. This relatively small city has not seen much development over the past decades, mainly due to years of conflict in the region. The city, commonly known as Buji, has retained all the characteristics from its period as a French colony such as excellent food, drink and nightlife. French cuisine can be found at various restaurants in the city, occupying a wide range of prices and quality. Sites in the city include the university, which is the only one in Burundi, and the independence monuments, which remembers hard times of occupation by French, Belgian and German rulers. The Living Museum is also located in Bujumbura and is arguably one of the best museums of its kind in Africa, with both ancient and modern crafts in display. Number 2. Rusizi River National Park When you want to see a melange of big water mammals and a beautiful water body that serves a habitat for them, then Rusizi River National Park is a place to stop by. Located just outside of Bujumbura is the fascinating Rusizi River National Park. Due to the periodic flooding that usually happens around the plains surrounding the river, hundreds of animals tend to flock to this area. Hippos are one of the tourist favorites in this area, but there are several more species here to keep you entertained including colorful birds. With the clear skies here, the park is a true bird watcher's paradise with migratory birds frequenting the park including rare and beautiful species from both Asia and Europe such as sandpipers and plovers. Number 3. Ruvubu National Park if you would love to visit a park in Ruvubu, why not visit the biggest there is to offer? The Ruvubu National Park with an area of over 500 km square is therefore not only the best for its size but also because of the rare and special species of plants and animals found here. The park which was founded in 1980 is home to some of the most majestic and impressive wildlife in the country including bees such as hippos, buffalo, tigers, elephants and crocodiles. That's not all. The park is also known for its variety of rare plants and flowers as well as the bird life that migrates to the region throughout the year. Preservation of the park is one of the country's top concerns, so much so that humans have been evacuated from the area. Number 4. The Kibira National Park With a real tag to its name, given that it was once used as a sacred haunting ground by the country's former kings, the Kibira National Park is largely occupied by primarily rainforest. Located in between 1,500 meters and 2,600 meters in altitude, the Kibira National Park is now one of Burundi's protected areas where vast amounts and varieties of wildlife make their homes. The forest, rivers and streams that flow through it support animals such as baboons, chimps and more than 200 kinds of bird species. If you're in the neighborhood, why not make it double its worth by visiting the large tea plantations in Teza located on the site of the National Park. Number 5. Kigwena Natural Forest With a large space covering over 3,000 hectares, the Kigwena Natural Forest is a true reflection of what a natural forest in Africa should look like. Located on the National Route No. 3 in the Rumonge Commune of Burundi, it is a dense forest inhabited by baboons, monkeys and various species of butterflies and birds. The Kigwena Natural Forest is an environmentalist heaven as it has all types of trees and plants growing within its borders. The huge trees in this forest have roots which are phenomenal to see as they create a whole new scenario to watch with their sizes and coils to the ground creating a dense look in the forest. Number 6. Gitega Ever heard the saying that to know a country check its former capital? 
Of course not, but Gitega of Burundi validates the statement still. Even though Gitega is now Burundi's second city, it was the country's capital during the colonial times and still holds many attractions, including the remarkable Gitega National Museum, which has a vast collection of artifacts and antiquities from Burundi's past. Equipped with decent tourist accommodation options and memories, even if you don't like to visit it as a tourist destination, it is a perfect place for an overnight stop while you are safari cruising in Burundi. Number 7. Mount Heha Mount Heha is the highest mountain in Burundi and is part of the Burundi Highlands mountain range. At 2,864 meters, Mount Heha is popular for trekking and its height makes a good challenge for anyone looking to summit. What makes its location golden and not only its beautiful and amazing views but the fact that it is also located pretty close to Bujumbura, which is the most convenient location to use as a base before setting out to climb the mountain. Don't forget your cameras when setting out to Mount Heha as the picturesque views here cannot be explained but can only be seen. Number 8. Saga Beach At the thought of a beach, we jump to a seashore, but Saga Beach is proof that the best beaches are not only found along the sea coastlines. Even though the Saga Beach may not be a sandy white beach from the Mediterranean, the beach which is part of the shore of Lake Tangahika is a great place to take a deep and enjoy the warm waters of Burundi. The beach is easily accessible and is located only a few kilometers away from the capital. It may not be the most exotic beach Africa has to offer, but the atmosphere created by locals during the weekend is the experience every tourist craves for. Number 9. Lake Tangahika The truth is that you cannot really declare yourself a tourist to Burundi until you have spotted this magical lake, Lake Tangahika. It is the most popular attraction in Burundi, the longest river in the world and the second largest in Africa spanning a total area of 19,883.9 square miles. It offers extraordinary biodiversity with more than 1,300 plant and animal species residing there, from microscopic algae to large crocodiles, along with 300 species of small and large fish. The lake is also the second deepest in the world after Baikal Lake and the second largest freshwater reservoir after Lake Victoria. More than its underwater richness, the lake boasts beautiful landscapes enhanced by the soaring mountains and coastal plains, Perfect for photographs, especially at sunset. Number 10. Chute de la Quirera Speaking of waters, if you are in Burundi and would like to have the Victoria Falls experience without necessarily going to Zambia, the Chute de la Quirera is a place to stop at. The chute near Rutana consists of four beautiful falls where walking upstream is possible and a quick shot cool off is also allowed in the smallest of the four waterfalls. All the four falls are at different heights and the tallest waterfall on the area's namesake is a Kiriba Fall, which is especially fearsome in the height of the wet season. There you have it, explorers. Those were the 10 best places to visit in Burundi. Thanks for watching this video. If you want us to cover any of your top 10 topics, leave us suggestions in the comments and we will do well to grant your request. Also, if you did enjoy this video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.